The Goshevank Monastery complex dominates the village of Gosh, which is located in Armenia, north of Lake Sevan. It was once an important spiritual, cultural and scientific centre. The monk, poet and public figure Mekita Gosh founded the monastery in 1188. It was here that he wrote the first Armenian law as a counterpart to Islamic Sharia law. The Cyclopean large, roughly carved stones form the protective walls of the site. The ruins of the refectory indicate its former dimensions. At first, the path leads past the portal of a gavit. Close by is Serb Grigor, and next to it, one of two small chapels. A stonemason, Pogos, carved two identical cross stones for his parents' graves. They are located at the entrance to the Grigor Lusovoric church. Cross stones and kakkars are typical of Armenia. Quite often, several meters high with incredibly fine stonework. In this isolated place, the stone carvings here are quite remarkable. Created in the Middle Ages. We enter a church dedicated to Holy Grigor the Illuminator. It was built in 1231 at the command of Prince Grigor Tigar. It contains an apse and two small corner chapels. The pilasters support masterfully decorated capitals, and the walls are large, unusually designed squares. The apse is adorned with five ornately carved niches. Little light penetrates a small double opening next to the apse. It creates natural illumination, which gives the room a mystical quality. From the outside, are splendid double window arches. The facade is in glaring contrast to the geometrically accentuated interior of the church. A narrow entrance leads to a small chapel. The freestanding church of Serb Grigor has been well preserved, a sized down replica of the main church. Mm -hmm. 
using the same construction as the Cross Dome Church, with two small corner chapels in the apse and deep niches on all sides. Unlike the main church, little adornment is to be found here. The stone walls are bare and unadorned. The lower frame of the higher apse is continuously decorated with small stone arches. The arches of the gallery unite the secular and spiritual sections as one. The library was the true heart of the monastery. It consisted of two floors covered by a small dome. Here too, sparse natural light enters through a small window and a double opening in the dome. This room protected precious manuscripts from the weather as well as the sunlight. The west portal leads to a large square gavit and is flanked by decorative stone crosses on both sides. This vestibule to the main church is typical of sacred medieval Armenian architecture. A large octagonal dome is supported by four freestanding massive stone pillars. At that time, the feudal lords gave their possessions to the church and were therefore permitted to be buried in the gavit. Directly adjoining is the main church of the monastery, Serb Astvat Satsin, the Mother of God Church. Its oldest building is a domed hall church, the dome of which extends above the entire interior. Several inscriptions decorate the apse and internal walls. Restoration was necessary following an earthquake in the middle of the 13th century. From 1937, the entire complex was totally refurbished. Mikita Ghosh spent the last years of his life as an abbot close to the monastery and was laid to rest here. <laughs>